Well, a lot of celebrities are loudly announcing their refusal to perform for Trump's inauguration, and Broadway singer Jennifer Holliday has canceled her performance reluctantly after receiving what she said were death threats, a lot of them. But one singer says he will not be intimidated. R&B legend Sam Moore, the soul man, says it is time for Americans to unite behind the new president. And he's joined the lineup for a pre-inauguration concert on Thursday night here in Washington. And he joins us now on the set. Mr. Moore, it's great to see you. My friend. Thank you. How are you doing, Ted? Really well. Good. So why have you decided to perform when others have not? Well, listen, I was coming here anyway. First of all, I was going to, I'm going to do something for the, the veterans. Yes. And while I was here, I had heard that Jennifer Holliday was going to be singing. Well, I like her vocal pipes. Yeah. She can really sing. Oh, yeah. And I said, well, if I get here early enough, be able to see her sing. Then my publicist called and spoke to my wife. And my wife said, uh, you're going to have to stay over. And I said, why? I want to get back home. She said, no, 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 no. Seriously, you got to. Why? She said, well, they, they want to know, would you take the place of General Holiday and uh, Holloway or uh, whatever? I said, yeah. What song? She said, well, she, she backed out. I said, okay, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> so, so you've been around a long, you've been around a long time in a good way. Yes. And you actually lived through the blacklist era. Have yes. you ever seen this kind of social pressure on performers not to never, perform? Never, never. Doug, I swear, out of the 61 years I was in the business, and I'm 81 now, I'll be 82 this year, I have never in my life seen, I never thought I would see something like this. This is mind-boggling. You don't know the man. The man hasn't taken office. He hasn't said his name yet to say, yes, I'll be president. And you say, well, he's going to impeach himself. Right. Right. Until he take office. It doesn't, and the thing about it, it doesn't matter what you say, I say, my wife, my publicist, my family say. That's not going to change their minds. No. And that's sad. that's sad. But what effect does it have on artists when they feel they can't express their views because of the threat of being punished for having those views? I don't know. I don't really know, Tuck. It's... You know, you, you got the big guys, and I'm not that important to the point that I could stand up on stage and and spree my have my four thousand dollar suit on and spree my my views about something. Those days used to didn't happen. If yeah. you started saying something, they would they never play you off. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, play you off. Play you off. <laughs> but now I don't know what's their what's their thought. Money. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad I don't have to face it. Mr. Moore, I yes. really am grateful that you came by. Well, thank and you. And we will be watching. I think we'll be taking you live. Thank you. Great to see you. My pleasure. Thank you.